It is Tuesday, May 16th. This is News 8 Now. I'm David Bowman. Illinois lawmakers are speaking in Springfield right now about the state's ban on assault weapons and large capacity magazines. This morning, the state Supreme Court began hearing that case as Governor J.B. Pritzker signed that bill back into law. That was in January. The Supreme Court is considering putting a temporary hold on the legislation as the court ch challenges continue. Earlier this year, a U.S. District Judge temporarily blocked the enforcement of the ban, later overturned by the state circuit court. In today's hearing, the state argues that the measure doesn't violate equal protections and can be enforced. The plaintiffs in this case, however, say this bill boils down to one thing. They all have the fundamental individual right to keep and bear arms. And at its least disputed, they have that fundamental individual right to keep and bear arms in their home for confrontation and self-defense. Additionally, under federal law, people have the right to appeal directly to a U.S. Supreme Court justice through the Federal Court of Appeals to request an injunction. One of the parties in this lawsuit called on Justice Amy Coney Barrett to place an injunction to hold the legislation. She says that she is evaluating the legislation but has not given any indication on when she would rule in the case. Iowa is giving out $800,000 in grants, part of the Iowa Renewable Fuels in, uh, Infrastructure Plan, to boost biofuels in the state. The board approved 15 projects and 11 grant requests. 12 of the 15 projects are for E15 infrastructure. The other three are for biodiesel terminals. The grants were awarded to retailers that added tanks and other equipment for dispensing E15 or higher ethanol blends. Well, it'll feel a lot like summer as we get closer to Memorial Day weekend. So let's check in with meteorologist Andrew Stutsky for a check of the forecast. Hi there, David. You're so right. Even today we made it into the 80s. Very summer like, but without the humidity. So still very comfortable tonight. Not as warm. We're going to go a little bit cooler. We've got a backdoor cold front coming in right off of Lake Michigan. That's going to send temperatures into the low 50s. But if you're not within the city, and that urban heat island effect, you will drop to the 40s, so you're probably going to need a jacket tomorrow morning, but not by the afternoon. It's another warm day. We're going to go mostly sunny, light east wind, just a touch cooler, but still warm with readings near 80 degrees. There's more 80s in the days ahead, along with a new round of showers and thunderstorms. We are tracking that right now in the Storm Track 8 and the News 8 app. Just give it a tap, and you'll see when our next round of rain will be in your hometown. All right, Andrew, thank you. You can now enroll in an early stage trial at Duke University to test a universal flu vaccine. The NIH says that the vaccine is based on mRNA technology. That's the same technology that's used for the COVID vaccine. Scientists hope that it will protect you against a wide variety of flu, uh, flu strains, that is. The goal is for the flu shot to provide long-term immunity so you don't have to get a flu shot every year. That's all the time we have for News 8 Now. Be sure you stay in the know while you're on the go by downloading the News 8 app in your Apple App Store or on Google Play.